Mark so then I to subscribe business central uh, we're gonna start the next uh, part which is probably part five, part five. So the company used on 365 Business Central, you need to create a user account for a new salesperson. Account, uh, the account must have the same permission as other salespeople. So it's going to be a drop down list, you click there and you'll see these four options. So add a new user, you add always go to the users and update users from 365. Um, assign user permissions and that's, um, you can, obviously it's going to be the same because it says the account must have the same permission as the other salespeople so this should be a salespeople security group or user group and then you assign a user to the user group uh, for uh, to assign the user permissions the next question says I can use the name three subscribe business central you need to customize sales invoice printouts to meet the following requirements so the what are the requirements display that customer city and then the postal code display the and the company logo to the right of the customer address, uh, etc. Uh, we should you make these configuration changes. Okay, the requirements are there. And obviously, let me just uh, extend that. Similarly, it can be a drop down list. You click there and say display the customer city and then the postal code. So you go to logo address format in general ledger, set a page. Um, that should be on this side, sorry. I don't know why is it there. Let me just extend that. Yeah, that's proper now. So display the company logo to the right of the customer address information. And that's um, you're gonna do it in sales and receivable setup page. So the logo is updated from here. So you click that and put a new logo on. Let's check the other side as well. But as per question, let's go back. It says display the company logo in the right of the corner, so that's the logo position on the document that's uh, in sales and receivable setup. So you can go left, right, center, whatever. Um, okay, so next question that says our company uses the M365 Business Center. You assign a purchasing profile to all users in the purchasing department. A user moves from the purchasing department to another department. You need to remove all personaliz personalization in the user group. A uh, user profile, sorry. Which three action should you perform? So that's it. Says um, the list. You need obviously the, the different. It's not in the flow, uh, so you need to put the steps, right steps. Probably drag it from here to this area. That will be area given. So you need to put the, the correct hierarchy. So the answer says number two. Um, let me just go check it again on the business central view. So you go to the user settings. That's our first step. That means navigate uh, to the user um, setting area. Let's do this first and then I'll uh, give you the answer from there. And then select the user and then you can clear personalizations so the correct answer would be um, user settings and then user card which is this or you click on the user card and then you clear personalization so the answer would be let's go back to the thing so select this user setting and select related link first number three And then open the user settings on the five, and then select clear personalization. Number six. So we've got three, five, six. So what does four say? Now we get to use a page personalization page. Uh, and then select the delete option. No, that's not that's not going at all. Select the line for the page personalization that you want to delete that's not going at all so these two are gone already so the, which one's left navigate to the user page personalization page so that's not user personalization page that's like a user card so you go to number three select the user settings and then select the related link and then um, number five open the user settings uh, is your user settings or number three? 
and number four. Maybe go to user page personalization page. No, that should be four. So three, four. So number select user settings and then select the link. Navigate to the user page personalization page where we selected this. Click user and came to this page, which is personalization page, and then clear uh, personalization. So that's the correct answer. Right, so the next question says a company creates blanket purchase orders from inbound documents that are sent to document uh, to, to, to Dynamic 365 Business Center by purchasing agents. Uh, when a new blanket purchase order is created with a certain item, the system must send a procurement supervisor a request to approve the, the purchase order. That's going kind to of workflow. Purchase order must be must not be posted until the procurement supervisor approves the user order. Okay, you need to configure the system to answer these. Uh, that's the solution. So what's going to happen here? So lock the record for newly created blanket purchase order with the specific item. So you got these, um, which the the checklist. No, you can't say drop down lists. So you're gonna pick one of these. So how are you gonna set up this? Lock the record for newly created blank purchase order with the specific item. So this is a process. But the process is uh, security filters. No, that's totally different. Incoming documents are totally different. So business center workflow where you can set up this all. Second one says assign the security command that tells the system to lock the purchase. So we're assigning the command means when the response. So it won't be the, the event, it will be the response that is saying assign the security command. So it's assigning the that means it's already giving the response. So we choose then response. Assign the item that system will want to use to trigger the lock locking of the puzzle. So when it says trigger, it triggers always the event when event is triggered. Okay, so that's the correct answer. A company is implementing Dynamics 365 is central. You need to create posting details for the master data. Which setting should you use? So you need to drag and drop and do everything while you're doing. Uh, that should be in the exam to drag and drop. So GL accounts and uh, items, so this is the list given to you and that's the requirement. So which journal uh, posting, which journal, journal groups or whatever is going for these three from here. So we're going to choose from here and for these and they will be the answer. So item, item is always journal product posting group. And then vendor and customer, obviously that sales and purchase side, so that will be general business posting group. You could just stack from there. Um, GL account is totally irrelevant here. A company uses Dynamic 365 Business Center to manage receivables. You must import the sales of payments from a bank account and automatically match their payments against similar ledger entries already entered in the business central. Okay, you need to import and apply the payments to the ledger entries that are automatically matched by the systems. So it says import a series of payment from a bank account and automatically match the payments against against when it says against that word you can mark it green. So you remember that it's always reconciliation. To reconcile, we always check entries against entries. That's the reconciliation. So that's the answer. Payment reconciliation channel. It's just the tag. Obviously, you can remember with this. Against is always reconcil reconciliation when you check it. Entries against entries. You need you complete the sales invoicing process for company. You need to valid uh, validate the setup. Which setup should you check for each process? To answer, select the proper option. Answer area. Not each correct answer worth one point. Okay. So here it's a bit confusing one. Let's hold up. So the answer for create a shipment document for every item sales. Document sending profile is how you send up documents. Your general setup is different. Number three is something else. For sales and receivable setup, you can see here it's already open. So that would be here somewhere. Shipping on advice. 
So create a shipping document for every item sales. So you click that. Obviously, it's going to create the documents for everything. So that is the correct answer. Store video files of sales invoices and create a credit memo automatically. Documents in profile is totally different because that's for sending. That doesn't go. That doesn't go. Sales and receivable. Obviously, it works here as well. There will be here uh, post and print with job queues. Will be yes. So uh, that will store PDF files of sales invoices and credit memo automatically at the end of the each day. So it's a job you automatically create it and it will save the documentations. The next question says a company purchases items by using cash. You register a vendor payment when you post purchase invoices uh, invoice for a cash vendor. So you are creating a new cash vendor. No prior vendor have been set up as a cash vendor. So you need to set up the vendor so that the payment posts automatically when you post a purchase invoice. So it gave us a few options here. Payment method as cash. Payment term as card. And um, oh, I missed this one, sorry. Uh, well, let's do this one first. Uh, so third one is payment method and cash with balancing account and prepayment. So that's the answer. You got it in green. This question says our company process standard vendor payments on the seventh day of the next month. So next month plus seven, which is calendar month plus seven is the answer. So guys, hopefully you understand that. If you have any uh, kind of update for these answers or you think anything is not uh, right for you or you think it's not correct please leave me the uh, answer in the comments so whoever is watching at least they can benefit from this so I'm only creating these videos because it's easy for people to remember to understand to prepare for exam and they don't have to worry about things uh, otherwise, business entry is quite a huge thing to be a consultant. It's not easy to pass the exam. So keep focusing. It's very hard to remember the answers. So just try to understand. To understand, you need to go on business central and practice it where the things are, how it works. So then you can be able to remember the answer because you have practice on this actual system. So you can download uh, business central from Google or wherever you want from Microsoft website and do the trial version and you can just check your uh, business central otherwise if you just try to remember these you're gonna make mistakes because the loads and loads and loads of questions you won't remember every question answer uh, so keep practicing practice is best thing and that's how you're gonna learn business central as well because if you become a consultant and if you don't have an experience or you don't know the system you're not gonna get a job so the main focus of everyone is to pass the exam to get a job. So please focus on it and focus on Business Central and try to check the answers. And if, if you see anything, any discrepancies, just give me um, just leave me comments so at least that the people can read it. And don't just leave that this is not right. Just put the comment that what is right. So I'll be I'll really appreciate that if you help each other and to pass the exam and be professional. Um, obviously to pass the exam. Thank you for watching. Take care.